welcome back guys my name is Kobuman and this is a part of desktop support tutorial tips um, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how to add an Outlook data file or also known as a PST so what is data Outlook file basically it's an archive that you can add to your existing email um, it allows you to st store um, old emails or if you have overflow of emails into your um, into your archive so that way you can make sp more space because um, for example, like if you're running off an exchange server, you may run out of space for your account, for your email account, and that's when you're going to have to um, create an archive in order to make space so that way your email works properly. Okay, and right now this is just not mock up. I'm not actually logged into any um, any email accounts because this is just a um, version of Outlook uh, 2010 that's just installed on my machine and I'm not actually connected to the main so I don't have one connected although you could technically um, add an uh, account for example uh, Yahoo or MSN or Google um, to your Outlook so you can access that directly but just for the sake of demonstration I went ahead and, and skipped that part but I, I can certainly go over this if requested on how to add either a domain exchange uh, email account to your Outlook or an external so either Yahoo, Google, or what what have you. Okay, so first way to add there are a couple of ways of adding a or creating a PST file or a data Outlook file. Uh, first way is once you have your Outlook open, and again this is Windows 2010. I'm sorry, um, Office 2010 um, Outlook, and this will be similar uh, with the other versions, if not identical. Okay, so you go to go to File. So right here, click on File. So let's go back home and then you click file and then click on account settings. And then again, you would click account settings as a, another pop up there. And then from here, you would go to the second tab here, which is data files. Okay. And then in order to create a new archive, um, archive or a data file, if you will, uh, you would have to select add. So you're just going to click on that. And here you can just type in the name and let's just call it the archive. archive okay let's just call it archive and then just click OK and now um, as you can see here on the left hand side it actually created um, let me just go close this real quick it created our PST file or a data outlook file or an archive if we will okay so in here in order to so okay now we have our archive right so what do we do with this right so let's say we heard we have a bunch of emails here right um, and again this is not a real uh, email account here this is just a mock-up data file that I've created okay but it looks this is how your email will look like exactly okay so let's pretend this is an email account here and then we have a bunch of stuff in here but we run out of space for example on exchange server you may have a limit of like let's say 200 megabytes of, of storage for your email account but now you gotta make space because otherwise your email doesn't work or you can't receive or send any emails because of that so you have to make an archive right so if you get a request for that this is what you would do so you have your archive created now we have our PST file created in here you would just tell the user to right click create a new folder and then it'll it'll create a folder within this archive and then you can for example this is what I tell people just call it inbox right this is the, the easiest way to do this and this is something they will have to do because you know they will have to move their own stuff so now here they have a another folder called inbox just like up here in their main email they have an inbox they have an inbox here so now they can simply drag and drop all the email files they have into their inbox and from here on of course just like in just like in the main inbox you can create multiple folders move folders and you know this and that okay now let me show you a second way of doing this okay and this is something if you want to tell the user to do it themselves, this is a easier way to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this one real quick. So I'm just going to right click, close archive. So the second way is, is a little bit easier. Um, so you can give these instructions to the user that has the issue. So you, in, in here, when you're at home, home screen for the Outlook, you can click new items, which is up here. Okay. And then go scroll down all the way to the bottom where it says more items. Right. And then to the right, we're going to scroll down all the way down to Outlook data file. And here we are, slightly different window, but it's more user friendly, right? Because user may not know, um, you know, how to go to account settings, this and that. You know, it's just it's just too complicated, you know. But this is one way of 
um, you know, giving instructions to the user on how to do it themselves if they really wanted to. Okay, so we're just going to call it archive two, so that way we can kind of keep it separate because you know it's easier to keep up um, uh, because of the tutorial, basically, right? So now we have our archive two, so it's the same difference. You can create a new folder, you know, call it the inbox, you know, inbox, and th then so on and and so forth, but. What if a user wants to add an existing uh, PSD file or a data outlook file, right? So how do we do that? Well, in order to do that, actually, we would have to go to file, just like in our first example, we would have to go to file and then account settings, select account settings, and then same place that we were at before, but it's going to be slightly different because this time we'll have to add an existing um, uh, data, data file, right? So here we, again we would click add and you go ahead and click add so now we want to add an existing one so it's something that the user kept uh, somewhere else or it might be just in a different folder okay so in our in my case i went ahead and created one and placed it on the desktop so here's our existing data file also known as pst right so i'm just going to go ahead and select that click ok and then as you can see on our left hand side it went ahead and added that for us Okay, a third way to um, check these, um, there's a third way to uh, access uh, email accounts or data files is through the control panel. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and close Outlook right here. I'm just going to go ahead and close it and then we're going to go to, to our control panel. Okay, so let me just go to control panel. And from here we want to look for a folder or an icon called mail. So you can just double click on mail here. So this is within control panel called mail. And this is by the way how you would set up and make changes. Um, if you wanted to, for example, add a new account or attach an account to the Outlook so you can set it up from the, from the get-go. And here you can just select data files. And of course this is gonna be user-based. So for all, it's only, it's only affects the user that's currently logged into this computer, right? And here you go, the same settings. So from here you can, you know, set it. You know, set a default one if you want, or you can just remove, add, or what have you. Okay. Well, there you have it, guys. That's how you add a PST file um, to an Outlook, um, Outlook Microsoft Office Outlook. Okay. Guys, hope this uh, uh, tech tip helps you. And then, uh, if you like my video, please share with your friends and family. And I'll uh, see you next time. And you can look forward to more videos. Have a good one. Bye bye.